One day we came from Parkhurst and then we were on our way to Melville Copy, Copies. And then when we got there, we were on the bicycle and then we, there was dry grass, a lot of dry grass there. And then this told me like, I would bet you 50 rand if you would set the whole grass on fire. And I went there and I lit and then I lit and then it burned the whole grass and then we ran away. So like, we all, and that other guy chased us. So whenever we went past there, that guy was chasing us. So when we went there for dance classes with this other girl, that guy's like, yo, you almost burned down my house. Like, yo. <laughs> Bro, <Bruh>, that's... <laughs> I don't know if that's a good story. That's maybe the most horrible thing that I've ever heard. A guy literally has his house and he's just in the ghetto trying to like fix his life and then somebody comes and start burning grass and then the grass starts burning the whole neighborhood up of course you get pissed off you know it sounds like a funny story but it, this is horrible oh yeah we're about to have a rap battle here yeah? okay. it's yamo the dom and young lion so we gotta show you some good shit bro that's too close to my name man you told me that, can I spit this shit? I told you I put it on a piece of bread and write it down in my head. I go insane. I thought I g -g 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 garbage. Lost my brain. Are you afraid? I told you to give big chains. I am a hey. freaking big dog. I g -g -g garbage. Don't fuck around. If you want to be my homie, you got to yeah. show me what you got. You don't fucking be a yeah. be yeah. a fucking uh, billionaire. Yeah. Okay. She says she kind of like me, want to be my wifey, want to be the only woman in my lifey. I'm just saying, you know, I retired rapping, but you know, I still got the bars left. Okay, come back. Gonna be my flow, my apple cider, my flow, my apple cider, how you want? Ooh, apple cider? What's up guys, welcome to another video. I hope you guys are all doing good. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Just clap like three times really hard. We just pulled up to Toki's place. <laughs> Toki. There you go. Let's go. Cool, man. So how are you doing? <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, I'm doing good. Oh <laughs> my god, bro. Yeah. yeah how's it? Yo, yo. Cool. I'm Yamo. Yamo. Okay, hi. I'm Yamo. Wait, did he say Yamo? <laughs> what the fuck? His name is not Yamo because, bro, that's too close to me, my guy. This could have been me. If I still stayed like in Namibia, this could have been me. Evans, aka Yamo the Dawn, uh, we in Fitas in the graveyard right now, and uh, I just want to say hi, everybody. How are you doing? Yeah, nice yeah. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too, Cody. Uh, me, I'm Waki. Cody. Waki. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice, nice to meet you, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yo, I'm Waki. I'm from Fitas. I'm representing myself as Young Lion. I grew up here since the age of eight years old. I'm lying. I'm go I grew up all my life here. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you lie, my guy? <laughs> Why did you make that up? Hello. Yeah. Oh. What's going on, guys? Just having a session. Starting the day off on a good note, eh? Yeah. yeah. What you guys been up to? Uh, <laughs> we don't yeah. woke up now. Actually, we just spoke about you guys coming. Oh, like, I'm not shit. sure you guys are gonna come. Yeah. I haven't watched my phone yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to contact you and it wasn't going through. Your phone yeah. was off. Because I was inside. Why I'm using Wi-Fi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Toki uses the the Wi-Fi <laughs> from the next door neighbors there. So when we pulled up yesterday, I was what were we, what were we trying to do? We were trying to look up, up someone yeah, on Instagram. Instagram yeah. He was like, just park here. We'll use their <laughs> Wi-Fi. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah, that's a very funny joke about the Wi-Fi, my guy. <laughs> Sidestep. Have a look. Cool, so I was thinking today we could just do a video where we're like, it's just a day in the life of Toki and his friends. Oh, no problem. Where you want to do it? Here in Fitas or? Yeah, I, just, I mean, what are you? Bro, where is this guy from? I'm... I've seen this man somewhere. Toki. You usually do. What kind of things do you guys get up to? Normally I'll get him and then we, he'll be like in his bed and then I'll be like, Toki, wake up, bro. There's a guy and then we smoke the guy and then I'll be like, you want to roll a blunt? We roll a blunt and then it's like, what's your plans? And then I'm like, I don't know what's your plans. I like smoking weed, so like we smoke a lot of weed. Maybe if we have money now and then we'll buy maybe a few beers, uh, a little bit of codeine, not too much. 
The last time we rolled a biggest joint with 19 filters. We, everybody couldn't believe it. We made the whole community smoke. Bro, it sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Go for our joint. We smoked their joint for more than three hours. Shit. I have my joints now and then they're going for a rap session against each other. What an accomplishment. Oh, do you guys do battle raps? Yeah. We've got to get that later. Can we do a battle rap? Yeah, no problem. We can. No stress. Please. Yeah, I'll put you in a park or something. Like... That's a beautiful home, guys. So is this the house you grew up in? Yeah. Can you just tell me a little bit about what it was like to grow up in Fitas? It was nice. Back then it was actually amazing because you could actually come out at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock at night, sleep with your doors open, have friends over, whatever, like there was no fighting. No. Guys, there's no nobility in poverty. Always try, if you can, try to get yourself in a better situation. Drugs. Back then there wasn't any of them, any of that. But now there's too much crime. Gone bad. Yeah, the last one. The bear cracker. Uh, <laughs> now. Shit. Ah, <laughs> let go. Fuck you. You lose me. You don't feel like you do. Now you can't get some. Bro, these guys have too much time, man. <laughs> If you succeed in life, everyone is like, oh yeah, look, this guy is, this guy is up in life, why? <laughs> a few months later, you're gonna be, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be nothing in this place. You're gonna be because all your friends, you think they are, it's actually your friends, but they're not really your friends. So the only true friends you'll have is the only friends you'll see around you in the darkest days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like those are facts, my guy. Those are facts. Two yeah, friends of mine is always there, no matter water. what. Mm -hmm. I saw you doing handstands just now. Yeah, I did it from a young age. I bet you I can do a better handstand than you. Never. You wanna do it? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna record this? Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. What are you gonna do it, Roger? Let's do it here. Me and Waki are about to do a handstand battle <laughs> before the rap battle. Okay, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah you ready? My name is actually called a young lion, eh? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Nice rap name is Young Lion. Young Lion. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that pay. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Bro, what is this music? Uh, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket, I'm going up. Oh god, you did the handstand. That's so crazy. What a skill. When do you ever need to do that? That's like maybe the most useless thing of all time. Oh, that's I told you. Oh shit! Oh, first time I got it. <laughs> oh yeah, man! Great handstand. Like, oh yeah, I'm right. That was so cool, man. I told you. I told you I could do it. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Oh, now let's go and smoke a joint so we get puffed up, bro. Let's get puffed. Let's go. Let's smoke the joint. I'm smoking the joint. So, ooh, oh, you hit the blunt so hard. Oh, my shit. Oh, my God. Ah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of things did you get up to growing up here? Hey, like when we were younger, we always used to have gang fights, like colors versus Africans. My Damn. friend stabbed me, my other friend in the nose with a knife. Yo, I hit this other boy with a brick in the face. So <laughs> yeah, when we were younger, it was very rough. Last year, my friend got murdered. Oh they blaming God. me for his murder, but I don't know what to do because I didn't do that shit. We used to chill here Damn. every single day, play hide and seek, play touch shoes and all that with my friends. There would be like 50 of us just playing the whole community. My brother, you look like a vampire. We play one game. That's how it was. It was, it was amazing, yeah. One day we came from Parkhurst and then we were on our way to Melville Copy. 
copies. And then when we got there, we were on the bicycle. And then we, there was dry grass, a lot of dry grass there. And then this told me, like, I would bet you 50 rand if you would set this whole grass on fire. And I went there and I lit, and then I lit, and then it burned the whole grass, and then we ran away. So, like, we all, and that other guy chased us. So, whenever we went past there, that guy was chasing us. When we went there for dance classes with this other girl, that guy's like, yo, you almost burned down my house. Like, yo. <laughs> Bro, <Bruh>, that's. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good story. That's maybe the most horrible thing that I've ever heard. A guy literally has his house and he's just in the ghetto trying to like fix his life. And then somebody comes and start burning grass and then the grass starts burning the whole neighborhood up. Of course you get pissed off, you know. It sounds like a funny story, but it, this is horrible. <laughs> we are laughing. So when he told me, like, yo, so he's calling me Waki the Bomber the Gama because he said I almost bombed down the people's houses. Like, I was like, you know, what the fuck, dude? Don't call me that shit. Oh, yeah, we're about to have a rap battle here. Yeah? Okay. It's Yamo the Dom and Young Lion. So we're gonna show you some good shit. Bro, that's too close to my name, man. You told me that, can I spit this shit? I told you I put it on a piece of bread and write it down in my head. I go insane. I thought I... G -g 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 garbage! Lost my brain. Girl, you were afraid. I told you, I give big chains. I am a hey. freaking big dog. I... G -g -g garbage! Don't fuck around. If you want to be my homie, you got to yeah. show me what you got. You don't fucking be a... Yeah. Be yeah. a yeah. billionaire. Yeah. Okay. She says she kind of like me, want to be my wifey, want to be the only woman in my lifey. I'm just saying, you know, I retired rapping, but you know, I still got the bars left. Okay, come back. Gonna be my flow, my apple tizer, my flow, my apple cider, how you want? Ooh, apple cider? I told the waiter what I want, he told him don't bring me a plate if you don't have a rapper. Or... Oh my god. Yeah, shit, patient on the beat and me, I'm just snacking on it, yeah. Eating with my hands, I don't need a napkin on me. Oh Jesus, eating with your hands, you're being a savage, you're being a mozzy. You're looking like a glazed pig with an apple on it, shit. Looking like another after hoe. Snap cracker, homie, there goes another rapper just concealed in that baloney. Oh my god, in that baloney. Just a macaroni. Oh macaroni. shit, I'm coming like Tony, like Biggie. Sm I got the apple on me. Yes, you oh, bam. What's up, everyone? Wow. Hope you're enjoying the episode. If you are, drop a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my Patreon. The link is in my description if you want to become a member. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the video. Jesus. So, do you write music as well? Yeah, I write music as well. But sometimes the girls look at us, you know. But Toki explained to me the other day, like he say, we, mu we mustn't enjoy too much because now he has a lot of haters and I'll say have a lot of haters, you know, and... Uh, can you yeah. drop us a, a fire verse? I can drop a fire verse. Let's go. Should I drop it now? Drop it. Okay. Drop it like it's hot, my guy. My land is stolen. We come from Kelly. My guns come from Soho. Okay. Lie to me, baby. My dick like Pinocchio. Ooh. Four fives and four fives and four fives and four four smoke. Can we just talk about like Pinocchio is pretty high regarded when it comes to rappers. Like there's a lot of rappers which use Pinocchio. Like, didn't Kanye make like a, a song, Pinocchio story or something on, it is, it must be 808 and Heartbreaks, that album. Smoking that wig got me so antisocial, in love with money, I'm all in my feelings and I will not get my feelings hurt. Nigga don't like me, I don't know it's no homo, I know things <laughs> are crazy, I hit the road solo. Brother, <laughs> Even the camera guy is laughing because he's like, bro, what is this garbage? Honestly. Mm. Homie, you think you're talking about me being a macaroni? I fucking eat you like macaroni. Damn. My I don't play around. Your head is so big. You need a GPS to find your brain. Your brain is a computer when the teacher... Listen, some people need school. I'm, I've always been the guy which has said, you know, oh, it doesn't matter what you do as long as you do something. Some people need school school i'm starting to understand that right not everybody there are some people which are super creative and they know how to maneuver themselves around in life but brah go back to school my guy
Go back to school. If you ask you what is one plus one, you say it's still loading. F***ing my n***a, you yes. think that is a joke. I'm not playing around, this is f***ing damn coke. Yeah, I'm sniffing all night, oh fuck, I'm dope. Yo, shit, this is young lion. <laughs> it's a wack shit. I tried shit. to cope. Oh, wack shit. So now I'm, I'm selling the dope. I took the rope. I'm about to bring it back. Yeah. Yes, Rolling yes, blunt, smoking on my trigger, the smoky freaking ashes from the tip of the pyramid. Got enough horns for my membership. Have yeah. a nightmare to stop me from dreaming. Yeah. Never read the Bible, I just watch angels and demons. Oh, the devil have to. That, those, that's a bar. That's a bar. That is a bar. Fire! Me, well, damn, I'm anxious to meet him, but shh. Shh, just keep that a secret If I join this force Will people stop hating? Should I rap like this To join the rock nation? They catch me I'm a Bro, look at the woman Just walking to work <laughs> She's just like Bro, like oh, What are those guys Doing over there? Are they They're filming like A documentary or something? God, I gotta go to work I don't have time for that My boss is calling me Where are you? Lisa, where are you? Like, God, I hate that guy. While I'm ice skating, look at my lyrics, all of my time wasted. Got no heart, no soul, only to spell books. Rocky, Rocky, hold up, hold up. Yeah. I'm insane in my left brain. Ooh. That's why I brought you up in this game. Ooh. To show you that I'm insane in my left brain. Ooh. That's why I got all this pain in this. Sh and this motherfucking shame. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. This is this is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece of a documentary. Oh man, please have a glass of my champagne because you might just get insane in your left brain. Oh, so why don't you just bring me the rap game because I left this shit while I was still playing my video games. <laughs> what? This is weed rap. <laughs> How did you feel when you heard about all of the things that Toki went through? Toki. I was very pissed off. I actually really wanna get to the studio, I wanna do a dust track and dust them and get back to what they did. Actually take them off the map. Because there's some things that they did to my friend that hey, wasn't nice. I will never forgive them for what they did. When he started treating him like a slave and stuff like that, and then I, I told him, bruh. You can be with the unborn. Everybody loves you, but don't be with people. Don't be with people Same. that's gonna use you, you know, and threaten you when, when nobody's <laughs> around. So you wanted to do it. This don't be with people that's gonna use you and threaten you when no one's around. This track to yeah. get back at them. Yes. Did you write anything? Yeah, I wrote, but I lost the book because I wrote in a book. Do you remember one line? Only, I was only like, you land if, you land if, uh, you love under the sea, your father's, uh, your father's must have aside and it makes bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then some other, I can't remember what else did I say. Bro, a low key, I would like to hang out with these guys. Low key, I'm just so fascinated. Like, I get why they did the documentary now. Because these are characters, my guy. You see, so like... <laughs> I was, uh, and Yama was there, was helping me rap, and then he's like, yeah, you gotta say this and say that. So I was like, yeah, and then yes. I wrote it down, but then I lost that and book, that. so I regret it. We I talked on the podcast, and you told me that there was obviously a lot of really bad times when you were living with the Anfoot. But can you tell me about some of the more amazing experiences you had? Some of the amazing... Wait, this kid is like, he was in that South African band, right? I remember him like in a music video in a bathtub. This is why I was when they took me out, like when they took me on tour with them. And I could travel the world. Could see all the places, Paris, New York, most of the places. It was amazing. Uh, we went in Switzerland, that Switzer Lake. It was nice. Cape Town, all that, just pretty nice places. And I was the only one that could see that out of my own community and my own family and that. I'm thankful for that though.
now that I think of it, he is a super famous. I, I don't know if he's the famous artist, but he used to work with super famous artists. And that's what the documentary is about. It's about his fall from grace. <laughs> And what's your guys' dream, the three of you? Uh, me, I just want, I just want to be my own person. I would, I would really, you know, when I get rich one day, I would really wanna like build a home for all the dead, uh, all the people. <laughs> the dead people. <laughs> Oh, build a home for all the dead people. That's oh my god. That's <laughs> oh my god. That's good. <laughs> he made he so dead. We're, we're in we're in a home for dead people right now. <laughs> oh no, that's like... <laughs> okay, funny. So I want to build a house for like poor people and uh, treat them right. You know, like, like a homeless shelter. Yeah, like something treat, like that's that. That's awesome. Treat them like right. because like I don't like the way some people are treating the homeless people. So with me. I'm very obedient because yeah but honestly yeah the way some people treat homeless is not a good thing i mean you have to have compassion for people like this honestly because bruh they're also going through things you know you could be one of those people which you have it good and you expect like the paycheck is gonna come in and then one day everything just goes to hell so always be humble you know always be humble always remember that you come from the earth don't don't think that you're above anybody you know strive to become better you know i don't think that you should be lazy but never shit on people you know don't do that to lose your mom is another mm. level so you lost no, your I mom i never lost my mom i lost my dad mm. i don't know my dad for 22 years rapping and art like with clothes designing like if it's acting i can do a bit of directing you know one of my dreams is if i can be become a perfect main actor that i wanted to be on my own on my own businessman hmm. i had to do a course so yeah These guys, if the music was there, I think they could make a very interesting band. Very, very interesting because the look is so like, you remember them, their faces, they're, they've got very iconic faces. So I would say if, if you're a, maybe a filmmaker in South Africa or whatever, have these guys like as models in your music videos. But not even that, bro, like just make a, a rap band with them. Maybe if they go get some ghostwriters so they can make the art a little bit better, bruh. I think it would be very interesting to see them create something. Visually, I think it would make sense. Yeah, but that's where I'm gonna end this video. Anyway, guys, like, comment, and share if you wanna see more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.